Hey guys! So today I am going to be showing you guys a quick little flip through of my journal. I started this journal in January and it's pretty thick now. It won't even close anymore but that's because I display the photo cards that I get in my K-pop albums in my journal. A lot of people display their photo cards in binders with the plastic sleeves but that's just not my style. I've been incorporating them as I get them. If a card is in the month of February, that's when I got it. I do make some exceptions every now and then. When I do that, I do write the dates on them, but sometimes I just don't. I try to keep them organized by group. Sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. So yeah, I don't know. My journal is chaotic. <laughs> But it makes sense to me and I guess that's what matters. I am going to start in January but that is just a few pages. February ends here. <laughs> As you can see there has been some increase in size between the two. <laughs> I have been listening to K-pop for quite a long time now but I have just now started collecting K-pop albums so got a little crazy last month and it's almost solely Dreamcatcher's fault because They've been releasing so much since their comeback and they're not stopping. <laughs> and I'm very weak when it comes to Dreamcatcher. So January is more chaotic than anything because these photo cards, I've had them for a few years now. Yeah, I didn't get them in January. So anything that's in January, I did not get in January unless it says so. This is my January title page. I chose to display my V and Jimin photo cards on here. They were my first k-pop albums that i ever bought when they released those so they do have a special place in my heart for starting my collection so the next page is where i write down all the media that i've been watching then my favorite songs for the month usually they're new songs to me but some of them are just songs that i'm obsessed with now again i did only finish three tv shows and for the movies i just watched four and then for songs, as you can see, the few Dreamcatcher ones. Yeah, they came back in January, which is awesome. If you guys haven't listened to Dreamcatcher, I highly suggest you do. One Ho, Wavy, um, One by Lei. A lot of these are K-pop. But for the next page is my mail page. I like writing down when I get mail. It keeps track of whenever I want to go back and say when I got something. And then right here are the creepypastas that I listened to in January. Here is my AT's photo card. This did come to me in January, so that one is in its right place. Here is my K-pop album's wish list. It does not look like this anymore. <laughs> It's kind of like quadrupled in size, but I've been too lazy to keep track of any other ones. I put if I bought it and if I've received it. Right here is where I kept track of my book haul for the month and the books that I read and then how many days I read. I didn't really read that much, but yeah, we all know that I haven't been reading lately. only finished two books, Ruthless Gods and Six of Crows. This is my TikTok spread. I just write down some ideas that I want to do and then what song I chose because you can tell music is important to me. <laughs> Here I just keep track of views and likes but I only did it for January. I started using TikTok and then I just gave up because I don't know. I'm not really that into it. So I just noticed that I didn't talk about the photo cards on this spread and that was a huge mistake on my part because both of these photo cards are Yesang from Super Junior which is my ultimate group and my ult bias of all time so yeah these were some of the first photo cards I ever bought off of eBay but anyway moving on to the next page and over here I have my freebies they're not official Dreamcatcher photo cards. They're just little extras they put in my albums. Right here is where I have my trading tracker. I trade stickers and then I trade books. So that was the last one. And now we're on to February. This is my title page and we have some more freebies. We have Gahyeon, Yuhyeon on this side. So on the next page, I have my calendar spread. I just write whatever I want. <laughs> If I go out or if I buy something or if I get mail that day, I don't really have a method to it. <laughs> Next up is my pen pal tracker. I started anew because the last one was just a mess. So here's where I write their names and then if I've sent something to them or if I've received something. And on this side, I have their addresses just so I don't have to keep asking them for it. Here is the mail spread. I got a lot of mail in February. 
this is the first page here we have music shung ha oh my god okay so february was the month of comebacks i don't even know how i'm still alive right now kang daniel came back chung ha came back on ho came back we have a debut group that i am officially obsessed with pixie give me some catcher vibes and i'm living for it i get lazy so i'm really trying to write pretty on my journals this is my second mail page yeah a lot of k-pop on there here's where i keep track of my money this does open and i'm not gonna show that on camera and then on this side is where i wrote my book haul it went on this way and then here are the books that i read here is my media i watched a few movies i love disenchantment that's usually not my type of comedy i don't know disenchantment just i loved it so much House of Anubis got negative thousand out of five because oh my god i hated that show i started watching it because i love egyptian mythology but oh my god i couldn't stand it so i gave up on it here is where we start getting seriously k-pop related so these are the purchases that i made some of my trades reese and Feyre from akatar yeah, i forgot to mention january didn't have a theme but february's theme is purple this kind of matched not really but i put it on here anyway so now we start on to the photo cards we have Shi Yin right here she is my bias from dreamcatcher along with handong and dami honestly all seven of them are amazing so <laughs> this spread is dedicated to lose myself I do have more coming in so i'm gonna have to do some rearranging dami gahyun Hyun, and then a sua page i don't have any ju right now but i think she's coming trying to collect all of the ones in this set right here i just love anything with lace so i'm leaving this blank for some of the other lose myself photo cards but yeah i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to move sua i don't know like i said it's gonna be a lot of rearranging once i have all the cards on hand but this is the road to utopia collection now here is the sua page i honestly forgot which ones were my pulls and which ones i bought so i'm not really gonna comment on that but here is my shein page she has the most right now now, of course because she's the bias and then we have yuhyun yuhyun isn't a bias but some of the photos she takes are amazing and i just i need them in my life love her horns or she has horns i need the photo card of that <laughs> next we have dami Ooh, the glitter the best rappers ever on this side there is a photo card break <laughs> i am collecting the stamps of all the trades that i get ones that i like of course i really loved this envelope just put it on here so it opens so here we have all the stamps that i really liked from the mail that i got there are some loose ones because i have to glue them on later i just put this from some of the stamps that i had that's what i have there i love snail mail so just if anybody needs a pen pal or wants to trade anything i am all for it this is another envelope that i really loved so i had to display it we have a photo card from checkmate drum album sometimes i can't even believe my luck because sudi is the bias from checkmate and i only got one album and i pulled her on this side we have Jiu. this is a freebie so i am gonna take it out once i have a geo card so now we have Handong. Oh, I love her. Dude, I'm so happy she's back to Dreamcatcher and they're all together again because her voice. Oh, I love it. These two are freebies. I got them because I bought a fan made photo card set on Etsy. Seller on Etsy asks you who your bias is so they can throw in some freebies of your bias. This spread is for my faves of the month. So this one is a blink. This is where I'm going to be putting other Road to Utopia photo cards that I have on the way. Which leads me to the fan made sets. This photo shoot is one of my favorite photo shoots ever that they've done. They all look amazing. So that was the end of Dreamcatcher for now. And now we move on to Taemin. He's one of my solo artist bias these are my pulls for the film and the photo card and it came with the freebie this is another envelope that i got from a trade and it matched my purple february theme so pretty excited about that right here is my one s pulls so for one s i didn't really have a bias i couldn't choose but i was looking at their photo cards especially their character cards because they're my favorite they look like tarot cards and we all know i'm obsessed with them tarot cards and then i saw that and i fell in love so i bought it that kind of decided who my bias was 
it's Shein and I'm actually pretty happy about that because in their song No Diggity I fell in love with this one guy. <laughs> it happened to be Shein too but he now had blonde hair and a ponytail and yeah I don't know it kind of worked out that way because yeah he was size already and I just didn't know till I saw that card. From the albums I pulled Seoho and then I got all Shein photo cards which yeah, like I said, I can't believe my look sometimes. Here we do have another trade spread. And then we do have more K-pop purchases. That's, uh, we're not gonna deal with that. <laughs> my Chung Ha album took forever to arrive. This card I actually got in January, but I wanted all of my Chung Ha photo cards all in one place. We got that one from Flourishing. Then we got this one from Play Stay Tonight. This one is from Cadencia. And then we have Everglow. Yeah, Aisha is the bias, but I didn't get her. I had to buy her on eBay to wear my pulse and uh, Mia is a bias as well so I was pretty happy about that. I don't want to trade her out but we'll see. God the glare. Biases in Everglow number one is Aisha and then Mia and then you. These were the freebies that I got with the album. Next is the pop-up cards. This is the one that I pulled and lo and behold it's EU. So pretty happy about that. But I did want Aisha, so I bought her on eBay as well. And there she is. And then we have another one us. These were my pulls. I was gonna try and trade them out, but I don't know, I really loved my pulls. Seoho, Lido, and then we got Raven. This one I left blank, but yeah, that is it for my January, February journal flip through. I am pretty happy with my collection so far. It has grown tremendously from when the year started. So just let me know what you guys are enjoying right now. This is what's keeping me sane right now. But this is it for now. I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the months and talk more about other brands that were not in February. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through and I will see you guys on another video. Bye!